So first of all, you just want to wear your bandeau, but I feel so uncomfortable. So I wore a tank top under. So if you're a bandeau, you want to take a strap. Um, I got this from one of my belts from one of my trench coats. And what you want to do is you want to slide this under your bandeau. And I feel really awkward right now. Make sure that the ends are somewhat proportional. And you just want to make a knot, a loop, I don't know what you call this, but yes, like so. And make sure to make it tight to form a sweet heart neckline. Oh, and by the way guys, um, my bandeau is padded for some odd reason, but I mean, I like it. Anyways, so with this, you're going to make two loops and you just want to tie it. So simple um, and voila, you got yourself a ribbon bandeau and I like to wear this with some cardigans you can just adjust to the size and everything and I hope you guys like this and let's move on to the second one so taking your old bandeau you want to have your bigger piece of fabric laying on top of your bandeau and now what you want to do is start scrunching it in the middle and now take your little piece of fabric and you just want to tie this on the back and remember to grab the front section of your bandeau too. So here's the back. Um, you just want to make a little tight knot. Make sure it's tight. You can cut off some of the extra fabric. Just to stick the bow onto the bandeau, you will need some double sided tape. What I'm doing right now is I'm just ripping off four little pieces of really tiny pieces as you can see. And I'm just going to stick it on right onto the bandeau. And I just peel off that little part and the bow should stick on perfectly fine. This way is actually a really good way because this doesn't ruin your whole bandeau by like sewing it in or using fabric glue. Um, by using double sided tape this can be temporary so if you don't like your bow you can just take it off anytime. So simple. And you just made yourself a DIY bow bandeau. And just a heads up this bow bandeau is good only if you're not going through the water this will fall off because this is like tape so if you do want this to stick on permanently it's better if you fabric glue the sides or you sew the sides in and obviously you can hem your bow but it's just that i like mine to be kind of freeing a little bit so i hope you guys like this let's move on to the third one So what you're going to do now is cut a piece of rectangle that fits your breast sides like it covers everything and I am using three layers because you don't want your two important dots in your body to show and then you want to hem it just for a cleaner finish and after that you want to scrunch it up just like the second bow we did and you want to put a piece of fabric in the middle just to tie it in and with this you want to sew this part so after sewing this little part you want to take a scissor and just cut off the extra fabric and now you're done with the bandeau itself so now with your fabric you want to take one of each side doesn't really matter and you want to make a V shape like an angle like this And do the same to the other one. And remember to only do it on one side, not two of them. You don't have to hem it or sew it together. After you've cut this little um, angle, you want to take your bandeau, flip it to the back, and with one of your straps, you just want to make it like this. And you want to fold it um, at least once. Because this will help secure the bandeau on longer and better. And so you will have something like this. And do the same to the other side. So you finish your DIY bandeau. And it's so easy to make. That's just a heads up. You do want to make this a little bit bigger. I just tried this going on. And it turned out to be a little bit smaller. But anyways, I'm really happy with this. And I hope you guys like this tutorial too. And if you do like it, please thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And until next time, bye guys.